lighting is very important. Oh my god. Um, lighting is very important. I just realized I might be able to make my five minute video. I'm waiting to interview for this job. I could do this, um, I could do my five minute video right now while I'm doing that, while I'm waiting, right? I'm in the University Club of uh, Chicago, and um, if I actually if I actually get a job here, this is where I'll come all the time. But you know you don't want to you don't want to count your chickens. There's, a th there's an old saying: you don't count your chickens. It makes them paranoid. And you're going around going, going around going one, two, three. Um, this is the University Club of Chicago lobby. At any point, I'm going to be interrupted, and the, the lady's going to come over and want to start talking to me, and the five-minute video will end. I was taking a picture of myself. I was actually looking at myself in the mirror. This is the new mirror, the phone. Does everybody know that? I think that's kind of common knowledge among certain people, and maybe other people don't know it. Here's something else. This is the newspaper. This is, this is everything, that's, everything that's here is above the fold. This is front page below the fold. It's less visible. Everything that's like this, people see. People see that. If they're just looking at papers, just glancing at them. That's above the fold. Um, I'm reminded of this because I had a quick discussion on Facebook the other day with an old friend of mine where um, her father said above the fold about some articles she had posted some front page of some actually like some small community newspaper in San Francisco like the Bernal Heights B or something like this. And um, I made the funny comment that they needed to iron the newspaper because it was a little, it looked a little wrinkled. And that's like a kind of Downton Abbey, oldie time, rich people thing where they used to iron the newspapers so that people wouldn't get ink on their fingers. Not even more, I think it was more about the ink than the, um, than the actual wrinkling of the, the actual wrinkle thing. Um, but so then her father was like, above the fold. And then I said, not everybody knows what that means. Not everybody knows what that means anymore. You know, because people don't read newspapers, maybe. And then my friend Kate, you know, Kate. Kate Stilly that I met in 19, um, I must have met her in 1989, yeah. Um, she said, everybody knows what above the fold means. And then I, so I challenged her. I don't know if she's going to go about doing this today, but I did challenge her to ask people if they didn't know what that meant. You know, I think that, I think that a lot of people, I don't think it'll, I don't think everybody knows what it means. I think it's something, it's an expression that some people use and some people don't use. I, I, I like it. I like to say above the fold, but it's like a, it's like a thing that some people use it in conversation and some people don't. Like some people talk about wine and some people don't. Um, whew. and I've thought about this wine thing. I used to think that wine Discussions about wine was so pretentious and annoying to me. I'm starting to understand it as a... Um, if it's pretentious and annoying, it's still pretentious and annoying, but I understand, I'm starting to understand it more in the, the idea of like, what do you like? And this is, you know, what kind of wine do you like? So I know what this wine is, I can tell you. It's the kind, like, what, what, you know, this is, do you like wines that are like, I happen to like, I don't mind, I don't like, I don't mind, a, um, I don't mind a, like a white wine that tastes like grapes. Other people kind of don't want that. They want it to kind of taste. People look like a certain amount of bitterness. So you have to, you have to mix that all in. And um, I like to describe wines sometimes as, as a saying, as, um, it, it's, it's bitter as a Mississippi childhood. That's funny. Um, everybody in Mississippi was happy growing up, all the kids. Um, I'm getting this done. I'm doing the five minute video. Um, <laughs> if I get this job, I'm still gonna, I'm still gonna, I'm, I still want people to give me money on Patreon because I'm still gonna make art. I'm still gonna make the five minute videos. Um, I, I'm not gonna be rich on my art, but I'm li looking for patrons to just give me this little stipend to um, help give me that, you know, to, because to make you happy for you. It's for you, really. And uh, obviously, I can save you the money, you know. You give me two dollars a month, I can save you the money. Just get a thermos. And then, like, I spent today. I very rarely do this, but I was coming downtown, I bought myself a cup of coffee. That cup of coffee was two dollars and fifty-nine cents. 
<laughs> so <laughs> I'm asking for less than a cup of coffee per month um, to, to do uh, my art. Also, um, you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, press, press that button, which is right here or whatever, right here. And also, don't just subscribe. I know you subscribed already, but tell your friends. Tell like 10 of your friends to subscribe. Say, you know, Sharapa, he's making these videos. He just made one in a hotel lobby where he talks about above the fold and ironing newspapers. Super fun. Curtain.